Hi Taurus, welcome to your bonus reading. This is going to be a message of whatever comes out. There are no timestamps in this message because this is a bonus. Okay, we have the High Priestess. Listen to your intuition, Pisces energy. You're, you're being guided to, uh, you know, listen to your gut reactions towards a person, place, or thing. I see you getting a lot of attention, Taurus. Whether you realize this or not, you could be getting you could be getting a lot of attention at work. People are really taking notice. I'm getting of your appearance, okay? You may have changed something about your appearance or you may be feeling the need to, uh, you know, I don't know, dress extra special or do something different with your hair. But people, either if you, even if you're not doing that, like they're just, people are really taking notice of you in November. In your bravery, people are taking notice of your bravery. You seem to be someone who is very brave and together. You're being admired by many people. Could be at the workplace or online. Three of Pentacles. We have Leo, Pisces, Taurus, Libra, Cancer energy. Uh, the world, so success in your future. I see a, a cycle ending in your life. You could be changing directions here. Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Getting clarity. Changing directions. This is for the better. You're going to be rewarded for your bravery, Taurus. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Your investment paying off. And I'm getting it's you investing in yourself and that's paying off. Could be connecting with an Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio. With that world card there. Now, you're all in different timelines. Some of you guys, your gut is telling you to move in a new direction. And you should listen to it. Of course, have a practical plan put in place. But you're going to be rewarded for your bravery. Wow, Taurus. There's a solid financial new beginning happening for you. This could come to you in the form of a new job or entrepreneurship. You're all in different situations, but the strength card, again, all about your bravery, your ability to persevere, your discipline. So there's a strong new financial beginning happening here. I'm getting it's the early stages where it's just beginning. I'm hearing it's just beginning. Nine of Pentacles. This Nine of Pentacles, she is self-sufficient. She does not depend on anyone. It's not that she can't depend on anyone. She just doesn't have to. This is someone who sees what she wants and she gets it. Okay. It's a very abundant energy. I feel like whatever this is that you're working towards, it's going to be abundant. It's going to be a success. You're in the beginning stages of a very prosperous, successful life. And I feel like some of you may not see that because the world being here, it's kind of like you had to close out a cycle or you still have to close out a cycle before this new beginning can start. It looks to me like a phase in your life is over though. And it's almost like you're not living for others. Nine of Pentacles. You're grabbing, you see how she's just grabbing control over this lion? You're taking control over your own life. You know what you want for your life. And I see you shutting out the noise, or you need to, of the outside world's opinions on what it is that you should be doing with your life. And I feel like you're about to enter a whole new world here with the world card. 
Ace of Pentacles. This is all about owning who you are, too. And the High Priestess. The High Priestess is a very powerful energy. Like, your intuition is really guiding you towards this, whether you realize it or not. All of these preparations or actions that you're taking towards something, it's divinely guided. Cancerian energy, the chariot. This is all about your success you're, you're headed toward. This is all about your bravery, your drive. Your willingness to just go, go forward with something. Okay, and you're going to, in the Nine of Swords is at the bottom of the deck along with the Emperor. It's not that you're not afraid. It's not that you're not anxious, but I see you taking control over this anxiety. You're not letting your fear you know, dictate your future. This is very brave of you, Taurus. And you know, in the chariot card, this is also about you being liberated from something. You know, you're being liberated from whatever was holding you back. This is There's definitely a sense of freedom and, you know, finally being able to breathe and finally being able to express yourself and you know do what it is you want to do and not allowing anyone or anything to hold you back you're going to be rewarded for that living on your own terms nine of pentacles six of pentacles six of pentacles is all about generosity energy exchange the empress libra taurus energy so this is about your benefits uh you know you're going to be receiving benefits or just more money assistance even for some of you guys side message if you are a taurus that has a child and you're needing assistance i do see that coming in for you but that's just a side message i'm definitely seeing more money it's your bravery it's your willingness to separate yourself from the crowd, your willingness to go after what it is you want that is causing you to create abundance in your life. And it's going to cause you to stand out and you're going to be admired. And there are people who are going to be financially giving to you, whether this is you receiving a new job where there's more money or some of you guys, this is your own business. I just, I see gifts and, and money in your future and rewards and a lot of growth with the Empress. This could have, some of you guys could be, that Empress card. Now, some of y'all could be entering the beauty industry, okay? Uh, something creative, even for some of y'all, content creator, makeup artist, something along those lines. It does not have to be those, those guys. I'm just getting that, but, you, you know, the Empress being here, the chariot, you are creating abundance. You're creating a path where money flows to you. And it's all about your bravery. It's really what this message is about for us. Okay, we have the seven of swords. Be mindful of anyone sabotaging this for you let's see who is this seven of swords this could even be you sabotaging yourself your dreams five of pentacles it's almost an energy of like manifesting your dreams and then feeling like something's too good to be true or feeling like something's going to go wrong and then when nothing goes wrong, you know, finding something to do wrong or finding something to sabotage it. So just be very mindful of that energy. A lot of you Tauruses, you are entering a period of your life of prosperity and it's going to be so unfamiliar that you are at risk for sabotaging it. But you control your actions. I feel like when you start to fall into the energy of something's too good to be true, I need to abandon it. 
stop and pause and listen to your intuition. Okay. Stay committed, the Hierophant. I'm also seeing commitment in your future. Yeah, keep working towards whatever this is. Eight of Pentacles, the Hierophant. And make sure that your beliefs are lined up with whatever you're doing. I don't know why that's important, but I'm getting an energy of believe you will succeed. And I know that's so cliche, but just stay committed and believe that what you're putting your energy into will manifest abundance, will manifest greatness. And as long as you have good intention behind it, as long as you have good belief systems, a good practice behind it, you can't go wrong and you will be successful. But what concerns me is the Seven of Swords, Nine of Cups, Five of Pentacles. You might face uh, a time where you feel like you're doing something over and over again and you're not seeing anything different. But it's in the moments where we feel like giving up, where we're about to strike gold. It's in the moments where we want to stop working towards something where we're about to, you know, make like we're about to create something or find something special. It's those moments we want to give up where we're about to make some type of gain. It definitely looks like your frequency is raising too with the world, the high priestess. And, you know, when our vibration is about to raise, you, there is dark energy that wants to come in and sabotage that for us to prevent us from elevating. Page of Wands, exciting news in regards to something you're creating or something you're working towards. Just don't give up because this will change your life, Taurus. Ten of Cups. This is domestic bliss or just bliss in general. This is happiness and success in your future and feeling at peace with yourself. Because you chose to be brave and you didn't give up. Justice, Page of Swords. The universe wants this for you. Queen of Wands, Ten of Wands, the Magician. The universe wants this for you. But you have to meet the universe in the middle. How do we do that? We use all the skills, the talents we have with the Magician. And we put work in it and we don't give up. Lovers, you're being, an, you're being put in alignment with something really special. This is something you're passionate about, Taurus. Let's get you an angel number. We have Taurus energy, Gemini, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Pisces, Cancerian energy is here. Give me an angel number for Taurus. Give me an angel number for Taurus. Spirit, give me an angel number for Taurus. Angel number seven. Your guides want you to know that you're brilliant. Don't, don't second guess that. Sevens are also about that inner strength. You could be seeing sevens a lot. Sevens are about reminding you that you have what it takes. It says you possess a very refined mind and a deep urge to uncover life's mysteries. Your ability to acquire vast knowledge on both the informational and spiritual planes gives you a greater awareness than most. You are brilliant. Listen to your intuition. It's guiding you to beautiful places. Do not give up on yourself and do not sabotage this. Because the only one that can stop you from accomplishing this is yourself. All right, Taurus, that is your bonus reading. I hope this provided you with some clarity. If it did not resonate, leave it for someone else. You can always check your other signs or check back next time. Thank y'all so much for liking the video. Until next time, bye.